Thank you. Doug Elkins here along with Max. Say your last name again. We're here chatting with Max McLaughlin. What's your, Marty, what's your first last name again? Sakala. Sakala. Uh, I'll go first, Max. We heard the, the Victory Lane interview. This is about emotional of a night as I would imagine you've ever had. Yeah, man, uh, if you're going to pass somebody to get your first Super Dirt Series win, it's, uh, I guess you're going to pick Matt Shepard. So um, that was pretty cool. And, and he built this race car. So I, first of all, I can't thank him enough. And um, you know, Vic Coffee for letting me drive his race car. Cellular Sales, the sponsor we had this week. They're brand new in racing. So a um, way to welcome them into the sport with a, with a big win. And um, man, that was awesome. I uh, you know, knew I, I was pretty good off the start, a little free, and really had to back my corner up and make sure I you know drove really straight to um, you know, get, not be too yawed out on exit, and um, you know, we just uh, guess made smart decisions in lap traffic, and uh, I saw a hole three three wide, and uh, you know, Williamson was on my outside, and I, I took it, and um, you know, I think we were, we were pretty good. I don't know how big of a lead we had, but um, I felt really good, and I had tears in my eyes with five laps to go. I kept seeing that, you know, the, the flag man showing the lead getting bigger and bigger, and I was like, holy crap, we might actually get one, and. Uh, I've led way too many laps in, uh, in this series and way too many second places, and this one feels really good. <laughs> Max, uh, Thursday, or excuse me, Friday, you and I talked to Can-Am, and you said that your car was starting to improve. It was starting to come on in. Yeah. I'm guessing this car was uh, officially come on in with that dub. Yeah, um, you know, we struggled early in the week, uh, me and Matt. Um, you know, both of us struggled pretty bad, and, um, you know, it, it was – Kind of a thing where we were feeding information off each other and, and matt was you know struggling enough where he, he brought a brand new car out at, last night canadago and he went to victory lane and um you know i thought we had a shot to win last night uh, i was pat, or under mahaney for second and um you know tire sealed over on the next caution and i, I just never refired ended up six but uh, we improved every night and didn't give up went back to the shop and worked late nights and got this car better and uh here in victory lane i think was awesome when did it start to come around for you starting seventh um, you know, we, we were picking our, our battles early. Um, I got held up on the bottom there uh, for a while, for probably 15 laps, and um, you know, I think it was Hearn. I, I just didn't want to go to the top too early. I burnt my stuff up way too many times too early in these races, and I just kept telling myself, save the tires, make passes on the top, get back to the bottom and save. And, um, you know, I knew I, I found something early on the top, and I saw nobody else was up there, so I went back to the bottom, rode around, got to second, and then uh, blasted to the top, and, um, you know, we were able to, to get it done. You said that this was a car built by Matt Shepard. Uh, did you have to talk with Shepard in Vic at Victory here, and what did he say to you? Yeah, no, he was pumped, man. We're uh, Matt and I are really good friends. I've been staying at his house for the last 10, 11 days, so um, staying there again tonight. So, um, you know, I can't thank him enough. It just shows how, how good of a guy he is, and uh, he built me a, a badass race car, and uh, Vic Coffee for for paying for it so um, you know Vic's a great guy and it's my first week driving for him and, and to get a super dirt series victory with Vic is uh it's pretty awesome tell the story that you told down in Victory Lakes I remember I actually came out here and saw you guys one time when you were living yeah. out there at the race shop yeah no I uh you know one of the the buildings up there you know Al Hankey was the reason I uh, am where I am in my racing career and um, you know, he gave me the opportunity to, to race when I was 15 and I didn't, uh, you know, couldn't afford, our family couldn't afford to go racing anymore. And, um, you know, it was the point where he gave me one race, world finals, and upset in fast time. And I think still the fastest or the youngest fast timer in the history of the, the dirt car series. And uh, the last five years he's helped me and I've raced under his wing and um, anything from big blocks to ARCA to uh, I ran a truck race. And you know, I've just done so much. I'm so thankful. Um, you know, to have all the opportunities I've had. And no matter what happens, I'm just thankful for everybody that's uh, gotten me to this place. And, damn, that was fun. <laughs> Is this the yeah. biggest winner of your dirt career by far? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I, we should have won a lot more of these. We've, we've thrown away a lot, and hopefully uh, they come easier after this one. I don't want to take up too much of your time, man. Seriously, I'll let you go celebrate. But yeah, thank congratulations. You. And, uh, uh, Marty, any sure. final words from you? I'm good. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, guys. Make sure Thanks, to come guys. back later in the week because we did a nice one with Max. We talked about all the cool stuff he drove this year. Congratulations. Hit the blue E, and that'll subscribe you. Let me know, let you know every time we do something cool.